Hi, I'm Peter Matavish. Welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So in this one we're doing 2010 question B3 and it's a corner jumper question. So as I said before, I'm not going to bother reading through the question now because it's there in front of you as well. So it's just a waste of time in the video. So let's move on and go straight to section A. So part A of it, it says draw the plan elevation of the insect planes. So there are your coordinates, you have your distance in, your distance up, and your distance down. So draw on the elevation and plan at those two surfaces. Okay, so that is your plan elevation of the surface or the triangles A, B, C and A, B, D. So that was part A. Part B then determine the heat angle between the planes. So this is a nice question in the fact that the, it's a four point question. So your line section is the line A, B. It's a line that is common to both planes. Okay. So to find the heat angle, let's see if it's a true 99 view and it's not. So we need to project perpendicular to it first and then parallel. Another thing to note as well is the closest distance to the edge of the sheet here was 30 mil for point D. So it's put me right up against the left hand side here, which is fine as long as everything projects to the right. So just if you need to, you can always add 100 mil off the edge of the page, just keep you in the middle. So that distance became 130 and so on. All right, and 160 for A. So let's do our two auxiliary views. We'll go perpendicular to A1, B1 here put in our x1, y1, get our heights from the x, y9 up, and we can put a dat 9 at ac. Okay, so we do the first oxygen review. So that is your first auxiliary review, getting a true length of the line section, which is uh, the line A to B2. So this now is a true length. So if that's the true length, we can project parallel to that now get a point view and see our two planes as a V-shape, an edge view of both, and it'll give us our dihedral angle. So we're working from this X1, Y1 back to get our heights now for this auxiliary review. There's only a short gap, small gap there, so I'm not going to bother with uh, that in line. So get the heights for all points, all four points here, and you see A1 and B1 are the same height. And that now gives you your dihedral angle between the two planes. So this is an edge view of the plane ABC and an edge view of the plane ABD. So that is part B, determine the heat angle between the planes. Next we have determine the true shape of triangle ABC. Okay, so determine the true, uh, true shape of triangle ABC. Let's look at all the edges first. So we have AB and BC and then HC here. As you see, A1C1 is parallel to XY9 and AC is also parallel to XY9. So that line, that baseline, is a true length in both views. So we can do an, uh, project a point view of that line, do an auxiliary plan of it. If we could work here from the elevation, because it probably makes more sense, more room up here. Do a point view of the line AC, and that will give you an edge view of the full surface. And it's from that then you'll get your true height, and you can project that back to the elevation. So this is a nice handy one again. The AC is parallel to XY line, therefore you can just project it out with a T square. So project out points A and C and B. Put in a new X1, Y1.
your projection from the elevation, that means you have to get your distances from the plan. So we're working on the ABC triangle, so we've loads of room, so no point, we won't put a datum line here again. So get your distances from the XY line down, mark it in here on your auxiliary view. So that view is giving you a point view of the line AC and an edge view of the plane. Now this is a true height from AC, that baseline up to B. So what we need to do to translate that back here to the elevation is to rotate it so it's parallel to XY line. So I'm going to rotate it up here and draw a line up from AC, find the true height, project it back and bring point B up. So by joining that point B, our new point B, rotate it up back to points A and C, that's giving you the true shape there. Okay, you, know, you could draw it in strong over it, but um, I just put it in there with green just so it stands out. So that is part C done. So part D is determine the traces of the plane which contains the triangle ABC. So we have to find the traces of the plane here ABC. So find basically where cuts the horizontal plane and where it cuts the vertical plane. So what I'm going to do is project my edge here AB because we need to find where it cuts the horizontal trace so the line AC is no good to us. So project AB down to it cuts the horizontal plane. Project that point down and see where we're being planned and extend your line like you did in elevation to find a point on the horizontal trace. So that's given us a point on the horizontal trace, do the same with the other edge. That's given us a point here, and it should be, let's see. It should be straight lines, so we'll see if I've gone off a bit with my... And that there is your horizontal trace. That's your HT. Okay, so we extended AB down to hit the horizontal trace, or horizontal plane, i.e. your XY line. Project that down, extend AB to find it in plan. Do the same with BC, extend BC down to hit the horizontal plane. Bring it down, find where it hits here. And there you see, that's your horizontal trace. Okay, because if it was extend down, it's gonna cross the horizontal plane there. So now we're going to work backwards. Normally it'll go at an angle and give you a point on the XY line, so you give it an angle. But we're going to repeat what we did. So we'll say we'll extend the edge AB. See where it hits the vertical plane, which is the XY line in plan. Bring that point straight up and find and do do what you did in the plan. Extend AB. So this here is the point on your vertical trace. Now if it's a straight line here in the horizontal trace, it's going to be a straight line in the vertical trace. But just to confirm that, do the same with the other side if you want. Bring up BC, bring that straight up, bring up BC, and it's going to give you a point, a point at the same height. So I'll do that without marker now, just lightly. So that's the question done. Uh, like other questions, this was a request, like you see here. So as always, hope this helped, and we'll see you in the next one.